I always knew what, what was right, what was wrong, but I just, I don't know what to say, wasn't strong enough to just say, change it. From behind bars, convicted human trafficker Naomi Vasquez still finds it hard to believe that she went from a young woman who was always in control to a drug addicted puppet master who manipulated a list of local women into lives of drugs, intimidation, and prostitution. I never thought it would get to the point it was, I guess you can say, never. Last January, she was arrested on several counts of human trafficking, and in October, she accepted a plea deal which will keep her in federal prison for the next 30 months. Vasquez came clean and admitted to the crime she was charged with. When Vasquez hooked up with Mr. Wrong, she became addicted to drugs. Then a subsequent car crash left her in pain and addicted to pills. Over the course of years, the need for those drugs continued, as well as the need to support that habit financially. Vasquez and her former boyfriend, Derek Ned, started an online prostitution business, bringing in women, then trapping them in through intimidation, greed, and drugs. If the women tried to get out, Vasquez would remind them that Ned had a juvenile manslaughter case in his past and that his temper could be directed at them next. Do we want to find out if he means what he says? I don't want to, I don't want to find out. Let's just do what he says and everything will be fine. The greed and threats quickly turned a prostitution ring into a very profitable human trafficking operation where the victims simply couldn't escape. And unlike the common thought that trafficking involves women and children smuggled in from other countries, the reality is that it's also a crime happening with Americans right here in Southwest Florida. I was not bringing illegal people from other countries and selling them and, and stuff, no. These people were all people from Lee County. Vasquez is remorseful for her role and hopes that other women entrapped in that lifestyle will find the strength to get out. If I could take it all back, I would. I would. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.